So uh, let's actually start editing some of our code. First thing we'll do, let's delete a lot of the dummy code from the funk from the sample we don't need anymore. So line nine to one, just some random stuff. Uh, seven to ninety-six, and then forty-two. And then we have some in, we have some intent handlers that we don't need anymore. So thirty-five to fourteen. Get rid of those. Cool. So first thing we'll do, just whilst we're here, is let's just get like a uh, response up and running. So when we open the skill, so we'll do make a speech output variable, and then one for reprompt. And what we're going to put in here, so we'll do uh, welcome to the body template skill. How can I help? I'm thinking for this skill. I just want to show off. Um, you know, some body templates and how to add some interaction. So it's not going to be too exciting, but it should hopefully demonstrate you know, how easy it is to just get this sort of skill up and running. So we'll do the reprompt there as well, just repeating it pretty much. And then we'll do this.response.speak. We'll put our speech output in there. This.response.listen. And we'll put our reprompt in there. And then we'll send that back. So we'll do this dot emit speech marks response ready. Cool. That looks good. Um we'll hit save. And let's just like test it to see if everything's working. We we also actually need to build the interaction model at this point. I forgot. So we'll go to interaction model, launch skill builder. Because you can't even test the the launch request without anything in your interaction model that did just remind me i did forget something pretty important for a uh for a skill using the render template if you go back to skill information let it load need to enable render template down here hit save and then if you go back to your interaction model you'll see that all of these um built-in intents have been added to your skill basically they're required for uh skills that use the render template um, you don't need to do much with them, but it's just, it's just worth mentioning. What we'll do first is add an intent. So we'll do body template intent. And we'll have, we'll just have do one sample utterance for now. I want to see body template. Let's do a number. Well, let's do a slot. So number value. And we'll make that a number over here. And then save, hit build. Cool, we'll let that build in the background. In fact, I'm gonna speed it up. Go to the test section, let that load. And then enable testing there. We'll do the, um, we'll do the new test simulator. Let's go back to our function. Let's make an intent handler for that new intent we just made. I can't even remember what we called it. Uh, body template intent. And I'm actually getting ahead of myself. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and copy over some code that's pretty important for our skill. Um, I'll explain what everything does. This is for convenience and also because I don't trust myself writing this stuff uh, live. Um, so for these first three, make plain text, make image, make rich text. These are basically making use of some of the inbuilt stuff in the new SDK just to make um, the thing we're sending back to the... To the user um, compatible with the device. So this one makes the text we're sending back plain, makes it, this one makes it rich if we're doing some SSML. This one makes, does some stuff to make um, the URL for the image we're making compatible, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I've also got two uh, variables over here, one for filler text, which is just random text, and an image for an image address. Pretty straightforward. The other thing I'm going to copy and you're not actually seeing, just pretend, just pretend I, I wrote this, is the supports display function, which I, I actually stole from one of the official blogs, which is very useful, by the way, so I'll post, to, I'll post it in the description. Long story short, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's basically allowing the skill code to uh, understand whether the device that the skill is currently running on, does it have a screen or not. So ideally, you want to make a skill compatible with every type of Alexa compatible device. Let's actually see if the user has passed a slot in. To, to, I think what we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll make the skill, the user can choose from a couple of the body templates to see, and then um, we'll, we'll go from there. So let's do if this.event.request.click 
dot intents dot I want to say slots and then we'll call it the slot name that we set in the interaction model uh, number value dot value so if this exists let's put it in a variable so I'll call this um, user number so if this exists We're gonna to work today? Oh my god. User number equals that. Cool. And then we'll, we'll check if it's null. So we'll do user number exists, then we'll do some good stuff. If it doesn't, then we won't do cool stuff. So let's just quickly fill that in whilst we're here. Um, I will grab this. Copy that. Or copy all of that. So for here, I guess you can say, I don't know, it's any it's something nice. So sorry, I didn't quite get that. This is implying that we haven't part the user hasn't passed in a number to the uh, to the skill. Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Can you say? Uh, we'll do. What would you like? And again, we'll just do this. Would you like? Very nice. Um, you also want to close that. Speech bum bum. Cool. Oh, oh, and then you also want to add that. Oh, whoops. Okay, I did. I, and then if you mess up like me, you do a bit of cleanup. Uh, cool. As I said, we we want to we want to understand from the user like maybe a type of body template they want to see, and then we'll present that back to them. There's all types that uh, is explained in the documentation that I'll also link below. But for now, let's just do, we'll focus on number two, which you know shows some text, shows an image, and then maybe number seven, which just has like a full blown image. Um, you can see all the all the methods available. If you go to you know, go through the SDK, template builders, the world over here. Um, but yeah, let's, yeah, so I'll do if user number, Oh, and then at this point, let's actually use the function that we made, right? Or, or copied, whatever. We'll do if calls display. You also need to do call just to pass the context there. If the skill is on a device that has a screen, we'll do some stuff in there. Else, if user number, if I said we'll focus on two. Else, if user number seven, let's actually start building these render templates. So, what we'll do, we'll do once body template two equals new Alexa template builders dot uh, body template two builder. Now, do the template part. So, we do var template equals body template two. So let's add a title. And this can just be a string. So body template two title dot. And now we'll add some content. So set text content. And then we'll use our trusty shorthand make rich text thing over here. And then we'll, again, within that, we'll do the filler text. I don't have time to make lots of stuff. We'll do an image. So set image. Um, yeah, so, and then again, we'll do the make image thing that, we, that we've made over here. These are all, these are all, you know, in uh, methods are all available in the, in, the, in the files over there. So feel free to take a look. And then in that, we'll do the uh, image address that we've copied over. Finally, build, done. Now let's send back the response. So we, we can do this dot um, response dot speak rendering body template two. We then need to add it. So render template template. And we can also do uh, should end session and then null. Which I'll actually explain in a second. And then 
let's just send that back. So this dot res sorry, this dot emit once ready. Some might be wondering why I've set the the end session to null. We want to keep the session open, but we don't want to prompt the user for more input. We added an S there accidentally. And also, don't forget to get rid of the S over there. Hit save. Let's test it again. So, I'll use the mic actually, because why not? Open body template skill. Welcome to the body template skill. How can I help? Show me body template 2. Rendering body template 2. As you can see, we have the title over there. We've got the text. And we have a random picture. That, that seems to work. Let's do the same thing for body template 7. Um, I'll just... Because I don't have time for such things. I'm just going to copy paste that. Do change that to 7. Now you don't need to change this to 7. But I will. Uh, change that bit to 7. Uh, as I said, uh, so you can see all in the documentation what body templates have what and what they can and can't do. I know for a fact that 7 you can't do text, it's just like a full body image. Um, so I don't even think it has the set text content method. So I'll remove that, but I'll keep the image there. And we're now rendering body template 7. Hit save. Fingers crossed this works. Go back to the... So we're still in the skill uh, session in the simulator, which is good. So. Show me body template 7. Rendering body template 7. Cool. Okay. All right. I've left body template 2 title there accidentally, but you, you get the point. Just for completeness, as I said, we're doing the supports display part over here. So over here, you know, if this skill is running on a, uh, on a device that doesn't have a screen, let's, let's give them back the dummy text. Filler, which is going to say all that stuff. Um, out of full stops. So, what would you like? What would you like? Done. So now all uh, all parties for your skill um, are covered, which is good. Apart from that, I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.